Today, we will talk about warming up for our cello practice. So let's get right into it first. Download the linked scale book in the description below. And in that file, you will also find some partitions to music that we will be shortly touching upon at the end of this video. Now, the most important thing about your playing is the warm up. Imagine if you do any sports, have you ever gone to a sporting activity? Let's say you run, I like to run, and or if you swim, whatever you do, you stretch your muscles out. Well, it's the same thing with cello. You have to warm up not only your physical body, but your cello as well. If you just jump right into your instrument, and begin playing, then there's a big chance that your cello is not ready at that moment to make the beautiful music that it can. And same thing with your hand. It won't be ready at that moment. So allow yourself time to warm up. Now I have a really nice Italian cello and I like to play it a lot, but sometimes when I ignore it, I don't play it for some days, it takes some time, upwards of 20 minutes to have this cello playing at its best. And so you should be taking 15 to 20 minutes every single time you warm up in order for your cello and your body to be ready. And an easy way to do that for beginners is to start with scales. So in my scale book, let's go to the very first scale exercise of major one octaves. And if you need any, any help with the symbology, look at the very back and there's a dictionary that's going to help you understand what the symbols are. We have three scales on the beginning and three scales on the second page. And these are your most common scales that you will play as a beginner and all here in the first position. So let's get right to it first. Let's get our, our body warm up. You can do this, you know you know, warm up the shoulders because one thing that we do as cellists is we tense a lot. So you need to relax your shoulders, especially as beginners. Relax your shoulders. If you've already done your uh, invisible cello exercise, then watch this video right here because you will need to learn to bow straight if you want to make that bow sound good. So do your visible cello exercise as the one in this video. And when you have that bow arm warmed up, then we can start right here with the left hand, which I've also made videos about that. You can go back and address. So we'll quickly go through that. Grab your cello like you're grabbing a, a goose by the neck. I'm, I don't recommend doing that because geese are kind of rough. Um, plus that's kind of cruel. And you see your arm nice and straight, very nice. Drag your fingers across and land here on the fourth, uh, four fingers here on one string. See how my thumb is released? Keep it there, second finger, third finger down, and then put your thumb here on the back of the neck. I'm gonna zoom in for you to get you a better shot. Here we are, zoomed in. Grab your cello, drag your fingers across. Here is the D string. Let the fingers land on the D string. First finger and fourth finger, thumb is released. Then take your second and third, place them on their tapes, thumb is still released. Last step, take your thumb and put it behind the second finger as you see the shape of the hand changes. And you see right there, the shape of the hand. So chain, put it there with your second finger. Now that you're ready, let's do some accuracy exercises, hammer and hold, which is actually in this video right here. You can watch it. But I'm gonna do a quick little hammer and hold, release the fingers, hammer down. Release the fingers, hammer down. Move over to the A, all together, hammer down. Hammer down. Very nice. Now that you're ready, shift over to your D string and you're ready to begin your one octave major scale exercises. I suggest a single repetition per each scale. So let's go through it together. We're gonna to go nice and slow. Take your bow, it's nice and rosin, it's ready to go. Here we begin. Three, two, one, begin.
the same fingering, start for the G major. Let's go. Straight to C major, same fingerings, go. Go to the second page. F major starts four here on the C string. It says four, zero, one, two, four, zero, one, two. Let us begin. Three, two, one, begin. The next scale starts with the new note we just learned, which is B flat, the second finger on the G. So it's two, four, zero, low one is right here in between the nut and the first tape that is here. And that's an extension back and leaving your thumb behind the second finger. It's essential that you do that. So you sort of roll back. There's actually a video about that if you want to learn extensions. So we're going to do the B flat major scale. It starts on two, four, zero, low one. Two, four, zero, low one. Let us begin. Three, two, one. Begin. And the last scale of our warm-ups is the E flat major, the same fingerings that you just used for B flat major, just shifting over to the C string. Three flats, the E flat here, the A flat here, and the B flat. Let us begin. Three, two, one, begin. Very nice. And that is a warm-up that you should be doing every time prior to playing your cello.